Hey, what's up, what's up? Vagabond Pat here. Just uh, at the uh, the uh, Amboy Cemetery out here in Amboy, California. Oh, Herbert, come back this way. I gotta have Herbert on the leash because he'll, he'll go up and pee on everything. But the only name I see on one is the WG wall over here. Oh, baby, 1877. Whew. So yeah, I'm gonna out here a little cafe. It's an abandoned motel, some abandoned churches and stuff like that. You have a crater over there. I forget the name of the crater, but it's pretty cool. You know, so a whole lot of uh, nothing out here but a little cemetery, you know. I guess people come here, they leave little things on there for people, you know. Don't know whether that's family or whatnot. There's some outside of this little cemetery also. So pretty interesting. There's what goofy, huh? So probably kids buried in here. Probably a good amount of kids, I would assume, because they're all like uh, little, little looking graves. You know, like that one's a little bit bigger looking. But if you look at most of them, I would assume that it's about the size of most of their graves. That most of them were kids. Uh, like that one's tiny over there outside the fence. A couple of these ones outside the fence over here are small. You know, but these are a little bit bigger. These ones here, that one's a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit larger, but yeah, you can see the size difference in them. So either that or there were just a lot of short people here, you know? Um, but yeah, see like this one says baby 1870, 1877 and see how small it is. So I'm assuming like these are all babies and stuff. Like this is like probably mama, papa, these two right here, you know? Some more parents over here. Those, those three are pretty big, you know? Okay, some of them have just have rocks around them. Some of them have uh, some bricks. I might have to come. Uh, look, this one has some nice rocks around it. I might have to come and leave um, some nice rocks at some of these uh, graves because I do have some rocks with me. So I might just have to do that, you know. But anyway, yeah, just figured I'd show you guys the uh, the Ludlow Cemetery real quick since I'm out here, you know. A lot of Christmas stuff left at these graves, you know? And then like a uh, fish tank jewels or Pokemon whatever things, you know? That's what I know them as. More than like for fish tank decorations. Oh yep. Kinda wild, huh? So there isn't much out here at all. Um it's been super windy as you can hear again. Come on, Herbert. Come on, don't be scared of the fence. So yeah, so I unfortunately had to come back out this way. I have to regroup. I have to re do some stuff. I don't know if the camper's going to make it. I had a, back it, a bracket break on the uh, bike rack. So now the bag's all messed up. I had to put more stuff in the camper. Now that's weighted down too much. And it's kind of a crappy camper. I don't think it's going to make it too much longer. So I think right now I'm going to head back to Barstow. And then um, I have to regroup, get some more stuff. Get a better dog camper. Come on, Dangle. What are you eating, huh? Yeah, so, um, yeah, because I went up that away and stuff like that. And then with the wind, I got stuck in the wind last night. I'll upload it. That video will probably be uploaded by the time you guys are watching this already. And um, it was atrocious. Sandstorms and stuff like that. Wind 60 miles per hour. Even today, the winds are in the 20, 25, 30 miles per hour. As you can probably hear, sometimes it does die down a tad bit just like this. But they're blowing against the way I need to go. And unfortunately, if I was going out that way still, down Route 66, it would be a, uh, it'd be nice. I'd be able to do it. But I have to turn up and go against the wind. And, uh, cause there is a detour. So, um, and that, you know, that's one thing I didn't take into consideration, especially for this year out here. Because we have had a ton of rain out here and stuff like that. So there's probably going to be a lot of detours and stuff like that. So I need to go back, regroup. I still need to cut some weight. I need to reorganize, maybe get hybrid tires for the mountain bike. I'm going to get a different dog trailer. And because um, this one, it's got small tires. Tires are like kind of plastic, the rims and stuff like that. It's not going to last. The tires are already getting chewed up. It's not meant to come into stuff like this. And I have to go through stuff like this to, um, to camp. And then even the little... Uh, Ah, the little axles on it. They're all wonky. The trailer starts to sway too much already and stuff like that. So I'm like, this is going to be an issue here, you know? 
and then yeah and then of course this wind right now so unfortunately i have to come back this way i think i'm going to go back to barstow i'm not too sure but we'll see what the night holds but most likely i have to stop the trip right now regroup uh get some different stuff get a better bike rack with the bags are good just this bracket snapped and then now i got way too much weight in the camper with the dogs and stuff like that because of course you had to take stuff out of there put it in the camper and i did um anyway i'm gonna stop the video but yeah yeah that was that all right i'll update you guys later with everything else peace